dear students i have prepared a assignment 2 related to chapter number 3 motion in straight line with uh, 20 questions we need to solve all these 20 questions in your running notes and you should submit by tomorrow okay the first question is the displacement in terms of a body varies with time t in seconds as he has given displacement find the time where the body takes a turn with the point of taking turn you know velocity is equal to zero this is the hint based on this solve this question next second one a man leaves home for a cycle right and comes back home after half an hour right covering a distance of 10 kilometers what is the average velocity of the ride so you need to find out the displacement displacement divided by time gives you average velocity third question an athlete finishes a round of circular track of radius r in 40 seconds what is his distance at the end of 2 minutes find out the distance so for one complete revolution it takes 40 seconds in 120 minutes how many revolutions he will complete find out that so that you can find out the answer for this question okay so next fourth one fourth one is which is constant for a freely falling body you know we discussed in the class itself the slope of position time graph is next sixth question the displacement of a body in t seconds is given by displacement position is given position is given its acceleration at t equal to 2 seconds we know that velocity is equal to rate of change of position find the velocity first then find the acceleration acceleration is nothing but rate of change of velocity so you will get acceleration in terms of time substitute t equal to 2 seconds in that so that you will get the answer next the area under vt curve is we have discussed already in the class the area under vt curve is what slope of position versus time is what okay next 10th question you should uh, write this in your notebook these are descriptive questions you need to solve the solution for everything Uh, don't keep the answer like a or b or c like that you need to solve the solution for multiple choice questions also okay next now come to problem 10th define average velocity average acceleration just define definitions write the definitions next a man is running on circular track which has radius 7 meters if he completes half revolution what are the distance traveled and displacement traveled so solve this question with the complete solution next derive equations of motion for constant acceleration equations of motion we know v equal to v0 plus at second equation of motion x minus x0 equal to v0 into t plus half at square and third equation of motion is v square minus v0 square equal to 2a into x minus x0 we have uh, discussed in the classroom itself write all these derive all these three equations of motion again in your notebook next what is the distinction between average velocity and instantaneous velocity distinguish between them next 13th question a man walks to the market which is at a distance of 6 kilometers with a speed of 2.5 kilometers and walks back with a speed of 4 km per hour find his average speed for the round trip in order to find the average uh, speed you need to find out the distance distance divided by total time taken will give you average speed okay so he has given a man walks to the market which is at a distance of 6 km with a speed of 2.5 km and walks back with a speed of 4 km per hour find is average speed so here time is not given so in order to complete 6 km he is moving with a speed of how much 2.5 km per hour 2.5 km per hour okay so distance is given speed is given 
time is nothing but we know the equation for time is nothing we know distance equal to velocity by time so time is equal to distance by speed so in this way you can find out t1 and also in second phase from market to home he is moving with a speed of 4 km per hour and find time t2 find the total distance and find the total time taken total distance by total time is nothing but average speed next define average velocity and average acceleration next 15th question the position of a object moving along x axis is given by x equal to a plus bt square where a value is given b value is given time is measured in seconds what is the average velocity between t equal to 2 seconds and t equal to 4 seconds if you substitute t equal to 2 seconds in x value you will get x1 if you substitute t equal to 4 second in x value you will get x2 so average velocity is nothing but x2 minus x1 by t2 minus t1 so you will get the answer what is the average acceleration in order to get the average acceleration between t equal to 2 seconds and 4 seconds first to find the velocity velocity is nothing but v equal to d by dt of x so what is velocity velocity is equal to d by dt of x is nothing but a plus bt square d by dt of a is equal to 0 b into t square derivation is nothing but 2 bt so velocity you will get velocity as 2 bt if you substitute t equal to 2 seconds you will get v1 value if you substitute t equal to 4 seconds you will get v2 value so average acceleration is nothing but v2 minus v1 by t2 minus t1 in this way you will get the answer for 15th question next come to 16th the position of the object moving along the x-axis is given by x equal to a plus bt square again same question where a equal to 6 meters b equal to 2 meter per second square and t is measured in seconds what is the instantaneous velocity so find the instantaneous velocity first d by dt of x substitute x value here and differentiate and substitute t equal to seconds so you will get the answer next what is the instantaneous acceleration differentiate the velocity in order to get the acceleration d by dt of v and substitute t equal to 2 seconds wherever t is there next now come to 17th question here the 17th question is about a food packet is dropped from an aeroplane dropped from an aeroplane moving with a speed of 360 km per hour in horizontal direction see here here the aeroplane is moving here the aeroplane is moving like this the food packet is dropped from an aeroplane the food packet is dropped from an aeroplane aeroplane is moving with a speed of 360 km per hour in horizontal direction so at the time of dropping the food packet has horizontal velocity equal to 360 meter per kilometer per hour horizontal velocity v0 x equal to 360 km per hour that is 360 into 5 by 18 meter per second 18 1 ja, 18 20 is ja, 360 so initial horizontal velocity is 100 meter per second it is being dropped from aeroplane and the plane is moving with 360 km per hour in horizontal direction so horizontal velocity is 360 meter per second for the food packet there is no vertical velocity initial vertical velocity along y axis is equal to 0 and from a height of 500 meters this aeroplane is at a height of 500 meters from the ground 500 meters from the ground so initial position y0 is equal to 500 meters final position y is equal to 0 because it is touching the ground initially it is at a full packet is at a height of 500 meters from the ground and finally it, when it touches the ground the final position equal to 0 because we considered ground as origin okay next find the time that food packet hits the ground what is the time 
So we know equation of motion is second equation of motion y minus y0 equal to v0 y into t minus half gt square. We know final position of food packet is 0 because it is touching the ground and initial position it was at a height of 500 meters from the ground. So 500 meters is equal to initial y component of velocity is equal to 0 because it is dropped freely minus of g value take it as 10 into t square. So solving this equation you will get the answer for time t. Okay. Right. Next. Come to 18th problem. 18th problem. Come to 18th problem. So what is 18th problem here? Here an aeroplane antelope an antelope moving with a constant acceleration covers the distance between distance between two points. They are how much apart? 70 meters apart. So distance x minus x0 equal to 70 meters apart. He has given time interval also. Time is equal to 7 seconds. Its speed as it passes the second point that means final velocity is given 15 meter per second. Next, what is its speed at the first point? So E is asking about initial velocity. We know that x minus x0 by t is equal to v plus v0 by 2. So in this, he has given x minus x0 value, t value, v0 is not given. So you need to find out v is given as 15 meter per second. By solving this, you will get the answer for v0. And also, what is its acceleration? You know v value, v0 is found out just above in from above equation. So from v equal to v0 plus at, you know v value and you just found out v0 value in part a and acceleration is not known. So you need to find out this. Time is given 7 seconds. From this equation, you will get the answer for part b. Next, 19th question. Here, a juggler throws a bowling pin straight up with an initial velocity of, initial speed of 8.20 meter per second. He is throwing with initial speed of, so initial speed, vertical speed equal to, he is throwing upside, so it is plus 8.20 meter per second. He is throwing from ground. How much time elapses? until the bowling pin returns to juggler's hand. It will go high and come back to same location. So initial position y0 is equal to 0. Let us consider it is origin. And final position y is also equal to 0. In that case, what is the time taken? So again, from second equation of motion along vertical, y minus y0 equal to v0 y into t minus of gt square. So y minus y0 y equal to 0 minus y0 is also 0 equal to v0 y is given 8.20 into t minus of g t square. Take g value as 9.8 into t square. So here unknown thing is t only. By solving this equation you will get the answer for t in seconds. Next. Now 20th question. You drive north on a straight two-lane road at a constant speed of 88 km per hour. You are moving north. So, velocity of u with respect to ground. Velocity of u with respect to ground is how much? Velocity of u with respect to ground is 88 km per hour. Is moving north. So, it is positive. A truck in the other lane approaches you at a constant speed of 104 km per hour. Approaches means moving towards you. Velocity of truck with respect to ground is how much? 104 km per hour. It is negative because it is moving towards south. Approaching means moving towards south. Next, find the truck's velocity relative to you. So question is velocity of truck relative to u equal to velocity of truck minus velocity of u. By solving this, you will get the answer. Next, uh, find out your velocity relative to truck. So velocity of u relative to truck 
is equal to velocity of u minus velocity of track. So by solving this, you will get the answer for this. You know you not to solve part C. Okay, this is the end of the uh, assignment to a take home exam. Have a nice students. Have a nice day students. Thank you. Bye bye.